Hello guys, welcome to another Substance Designer tutorial and today I will be showing you how to make this cliff material that I'm showing you right here. Before we start off, just make sure you download the SBS file down in the description so you can follow along more easily because I won't be showing much detail in, in, this, um, in this tutorial. I will be only showing you how to... what I do and why I do it. So let's get started. So first off, we need to create the rock patterns and for that we use the cells 1 and polygon to make some sort of cracks, to ju just make some cool variation to it. Then we do a gradient so it, it has an edge and we break up the edges with the crystal noise. And then we do a bit of levels so we can, we can do more additions. And after that we do angle variation with the cube 3d you don't need to do it necessarily with this but i found it fun to use it use this node we do directional breakup which kind of breaks up the shape as you can see and then we use a warp to, to just shift the, the shape a little bit with the perlin noise and then we do another directional noise as you can see just adding a bit more to it and after that we are, we are creating the main shape so for the main shape we use two tile samplers and we can you can you can pretty much use one but i chose two for uh, for more variations i don't know i i felt that it looked better and basically we create these two they, they have a bit a uh, bit of a different settings and we blend them together with overlay to create a very interesting looking map and then we do a bit of shape extrusion and we kind of embrace these um, pockets and these uh, edges on it as you can see and after that we kind of extrude them it's very subtle the extrusion is subtle but it is visible and that is gonna be our main main cliff shape now it might not look like it just yet but it it is gonna it's gonna get way better so we use edge breakup so with multi-directional warp grayscale we we warp it with Berlin noise so we get a bit of edge breaking up as you can see we do a bit of auto levels so we can get more addition and more detail going so and then again more edge breakup as you can see it breaks up the edges very nicely then we add the scratches that are basically just cells one slope blurred with uh, clouds too and we put them into directional warp which is very subtle and after that we just invert grayscale and blend in with, with the subtract because it it creates these very interesting looking scratches that add a lot of detail to the rock and then we make the edges pop out so we just use shadows and invert the shadows so shadows on really high shadow distance and invert grayscale and it makes them pop out as you can see makes the um, black areas really pop out after that we add some real scratches which are just scratches generator and we put it into a bevel to make them looking like this way more natural and then we just blend them in with the low scale perlin noise so they don't appear everywhere and then we blend them together after that we add little spots which are very very subtle but they they do add to the detail so the spots are basically just dirt 3 with levels so we get a little bit of less dirt and bevel to even get even less dirt as you can see and then we just blend it with subtract and after that we just uh, put on some surface noise so this can be something else not moisture moisture noise i choose moisture noise because it looks nice but you can add something like fractal sum or fractal sum base or any any noise you you think it would fit better so you can you can exchange this freely and before before we he head into the albedo and other stuff we are gonna add these yellow patches you see here i mean they're greenish reddish and stuff like that so basically how we create these is a crunch map using a tile generator so we can make it uh, spread more and after that 
we blend it together with multiply using the clouds tree and cells with slow blur grayscale and we get sort of a better looking shape as you can see it, it kind of has that noise on top of it then we blend it with the grunge map 7 to even add even more noise to it and then we blend it with the with the grunge map 7 but with the high subtract so it removes most of the patches but you can of course control this you can put it down and uh, the more of them will show up but i like i like them i like them having periodically and then how we add them is we pre-blur the place where we want to add them so basically we you, we use our noise and blur it and blend it together on copy with this map with using this map as a opacity map and as you can see the places where it should be blurred yeah you can see right here it's it's a bit blurred and then when we add it it adds it way way better now it, the, the changes are really hard to see now but it's uh, it gives out an all out uh, better result <clears throat> so basically now what we do is from before the yellow patches because we're gonna add them later on in the albedo we do an ambient occlusion so we get a lot of detail and blend it in with a normal map with the normal with this map actually and we get uh, we get a lot of detail. We blend it with some some uh, noise map like fractal sum, so we get even more detail. And then we put it into a gradient map. You can copy the gradient map, or you can just uh, choose what you like. And then we create uh, variations. So basically, these variations here uh, are basically just a lighter one and a darker one. And these two just blend together to get uh, more variation in color. As you can see, this is pretty bland, and this this actually gives a lot of variation. <clears throat> and we do it with get slope. So this is a custom node, but uh, in the download file I will include it. And it's uh, it's a good one. You can you you should be having this one with you because it creates really good results, and, and it's free of course. Uh, so basically we pre-surface noise map We use it to get slope get get a blend with uh, with this really noisy map and Then we do a histogram scan to get these shapes which look really really good and Then with that we blend these two and we get all these natural albedo looking colors and it looks amazing so more color variation of course we we always do a lighter one and blend it into the normal one and this one is simple it's just pre it's a surface noise and into a bit into the ambient occlusion we do a little bit of directional warp with a grunge map 7 and make it uh, an opacity mask for this blend so as you can see now we have the white color to break up this this darker one after that we add the dirt uh, basically just an uniform color for the dirt and blend it in with blend it in together But we use the dirt node That is basically just you have ambient occlusion curvature and normal and you plug it all in into the dirt And you get uh, cool results and you can you have high level of, of control of it and We blend it that we, we use that as an opacity mask and blend it together as you can see it gives out really really good results now after that I wanted to add some more coloring so you can see these cream looking colors that kind of go all over the place so what I used this is a little bit messy but what what I basically use fractal sum and dirt and we subtract each other and it creates this really noisy mask we put it into a gradient map a lot of gradients so a lot of color we, we really need to get this really noisy map like we are getting it right now we do a lighter and a darker one and we blend them in together and that is gonna be our color and for the opacity mask I just use the cells and clouds one I really like using the this this combo and grunge map 7 to kind of remove the detail it's because we don't want uh, we don't want this to be everywhere and that map see 
how it applies these cream looking colors all over the place. And then we are adding the yellow patches. So I I did from uh, from this levels node, I did two AHSLs for color variation. And I created these really yellow and green and reddish looking uh, maps. Blend them in together with the dirt one, so we get a really noisy map. And then blend these two together, these maps, so this color and this map, with the opacity of the actual mask, as you can see. And that's how we add this to our, that's how we add these yellow patches to our albedo. And then sharpening the looks, like in every material I do, I do this. So from the normal map, we do the curvature smooth on OpenGL and gradient map, so we make it a color input. And then we blend it together. And you can see how it makes the, the whole thing pop out a bit more. And then this gives out a really sharper look. So this is a curvature sobble with the same normal map uh, into gradient to make it a color. And then you see how it makes it noisy and sharp looking. And that's what we are looking for. And that's basically our albedo map. And we plug that into the base color. So now we need the <clears throat> roughness map. So basically the roughness map is a grayscale conversion from our albedo map. We do levels and here you can here is where you can control how shiny the rocks are. I like them shiny but you can make them more rough by controlling this this levels node how you feel like. So it's it's up to you. I just like that feel. So we can even put something like this. And then we blend it with the get slope. So get slope is derived from the pre-surface noise. So this one, where we added the spots. And we get this sort of roughness looking map. And then we, we remove the lichen. We just use a uniform color to remove it and do a copy with an opacity map of the um, yellow patches. So it's not, it's not lichen, it's just wrongly commented, but it's the yellow patches. So that's how we remove them, we don't want them to be shiny. I mean, I did want them to be a little bit shiny, so that's why I didn't go all the way up, as you can see here. You can also adjust that if you want, and that is our roughness map. And basically all the other maps are derived directly from this one. So, normal map, just derived from it, the height map is this map, and the emit occlusion is derived from that map as well. And that is it. I will include this SBS file in my in my description, so you can download it and follow along way better. I will include the get slope and will include the link to to the get slope um, custom node because it's very useful. But you will get it uh, with the with the actual material. So I hope you liked the video, if you did leave a like and subscribe and I will see if you want to see more uh, just comment down below and I will if you have also some custom requests just say them I will I will try my best to to actually make the materials and showcase them to you so have a nice day see ya.